It's not like we didn't see it coming. For months, the market had been buzzing about Uber and Grab's courtship. And last week, the two parties finally confirmed they were getting married and that Uber was going to quit the region and let Grab be the sole breadwinner, at least in Southeast Asia. That basically gives Grab a monopoly status, especially here where most of us struggle to name even one other e-hailing company. Now, the number one concern that most passengers have is will Grab now hike prices and will they stop giving out promo codes? The answer is... Abu Den. Just look at what's happening in China. According to Quartz, passengers are apparently feeling the effects one year after the Uber DD merger in 2016. This is according to a survey by web portal Sina, where 81.7% of respondents believe that hailing a ride was more difficult than ever, while 86.6% of passengers felt that rides were getting more expensive. Quad said this was because DD slashed the bonuses it had been giving drivers, and Chinese cities also imposed their own rules dictating who could drive for DD, hence less cars on the road. DD also cut down on discounts it used to offer to customers, Hence, the pricier rides. So, it is possible that the situation could be mirrored here. Grab's rides are probably going to get a bit more expensive, no matter what they told Nancy. They could cut down on those promos, maybe raise their fare slightly, or just charge different people different prices. If you've been taking Uber or Grab, you'll know that not every passenger gets the same discount code. However, having said that, you and I both know that the days of almost free rides were going to come to an end anyway. Sure, when Uber and Grab were fiercely competing for passengers, they were just throwing promo codes at us. But that level of discounting is just not sustainable. Now with the merger, Grab has pricing power, so it can afford to determine the cost of the ride instead of allowing prices to be dictated by competition. But just because it seems like Grab can raise prices however it likes, it doesn't mean it actually will go nuts. Don't overestimate the network effects and don't confuse market share with market power. Sure, Grab claims to have a market share of 95% in third-party taxi hailing and 71% in private vehicle hailing in Southeast Asia. Heck, just look at the downloads of its app. On Google's Play Store, Grab boasts over 50 million downloads. In comparison, EasyCab, its largest competitor here, has about 50,000. However, I believe Grab still has to price its rides somewhat competitively to remain the leader. Look at aviation, for instance. AirAsia's share of the domestic traffic at KLIA is now 66%, according to the Centre of Aviation. But it still has to resort to sales to maintain its lead. Of course, AirAsia's competitors look way more solid than Grab's lah. But all it takes is for Grab to really anger its customers or for a more formidable local rival to appear and Grab won't seem as untouchable. Remember when Uber first arrived and Grab was still my taxi? Back then, Grab was David. Today, it's Goliath. Plus, do you think that as passengers, we would be loyal to a brand just because it's homegrown? Don't be silly, Michael. You know I grew up in Malaysia. No, we are loyal to the provider that can give us the cheapest ride. And don't think that just because Grab's strong here, its foreign rivals will think twice about entering the market. Take the London market, for example. Uber's got some licensing issues there, but prior to that, even after it established itself as the dominant player there, Lyft was still looking to gatecrash the party. Plus, Grab may not need to hike prices drastically. It's got backers including DD and SoftBank. It has other profit streams like GrabPay. It's offering personal loans and insurance and soon credit scoring services. And it will have to deal with anti-competition scrutiny. Look, I'm not saying I welcome the deal that I'm okay with a monopoly on ride-sharing services. What I am saying is that while we probably will have to brace for an eventual hike in Grab's fares, I really doubt that Grab will go to town on raising prices. And hopefully, we will soon see a new worthy competitor on the horizon. Just saying.